Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your quantum reading. Uh, this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you're wanting to book a one on one, <laughs> my website information is. Uh, down below in the description box just go ahead and subscribe your email there that way you will always get a email notification every time my availability opens up you can also follow me over on Instagram that information is also down below and yeah I just post more <laughs> crazy quantum physical things over there and things that I play around with and as always thank you guys so much for liking subscribing Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Oh my crazy freaking Aquarians. <laughs> Let's see what is going on for you. I love it. <laughs> Aquarius. I freaking love whenever this card comes out. You know, this is interesting. I'm, oh, wow. Okay. Fat. I have to take these. Normally, I would not at all, but look at this. I just pulled, I have shuffled these cards insanely so many times. And there's the Maiden of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. <laughs> like, what in the world? This is, wow. Okay, you have the full card. So it feels like it's a part of this, the Hierophant. So this could be some type of a structured system. Okay, this is like, yeah, you know, there's pillars. So this could be about a business or religion or group or whatever this is talking about. I'm getting that this is like typical Hierophant and typical Aquarius. You know, it's interesting. I was seriously thinking about this the other day. And I was like thinking about the connection that I always talk about between Taurus and Aquarius. OMG. This is exactly what you're going to be feeling. Why? Because we are in Taurus season. Taurus is a fixed sign and Aquarius, you are also a fixed sign. And I actually heard this from, uh, who was it? Deborah something astrology she's on instagram and i feel terrible because i really truly cannot remember her name but she talked about this dynamic specifically and it's kind of cool that it's popping out right here because it's showing me no dang it's showing me that you there's probably going to be some type of entity, a person, or a structure that's already put in place. And you might come in with a completely different approach. And I feel like someone or this, this structure might feel threatened by the way that you want to do things. And you too might go into your own different variations of stubbornness. Okay? Like, not typically emperor, but, you know, Taurus can be super stubborn, <laughs> you know? So that's what I'm getting. And you are a fixed sign Aquarius. Like, you can be just as stubborn. And, but it's fascinating because, like, Aquarius, you also are very innovative. You know, you are futuristic. And you look ahead. You can usually see the kinks and structures and see like this doesn't really work anymore even though like you it is good to do things traditionally but also this is like you might bring a completely different innovation into this dynamic and i'm getting someone is feeling threatened by it okay i mean wow conversation this is a lot of especially the different energies that are here very similar in as far as like a very neurodivergent way of seeing things. All right. There's a lot of different takes on this. But what I'm seeing here, the difference, like I think this also could be you, fascinatingly. I mean, this is what's really cool about this entanglement is that 
there could be other people here in this whole dynamic and you feel like they're not knowledgeable enough or they're not educated. They're like, they don't have the perception. They're still new. All right, with the Maiden of Swords and the Knight of Swords, it's like these two have more knowledge or experience. All right, which is why they elevate. And that's why there might be something going on about this. And there's a lot of things about, yes, traditions and values and things like that. And you might be take, like going in a new direction or creating a new path for yourself, depending on how this conversation plays out. I mean, this is truly, I mean, I am mind blown by this. I only pulled out the Maiden of Swords and those other ones to pretty much to show like, yes, a lot of conversations are taking place, but I feel like you're dealing with inexperienced energies. I don't know what the F they're getting into, to be totally honest. And I'm kind of getting that you do, but you might not be taken serious or like, and it's like, you might be the, the one that says something or does something that like doesn't follow the traditions of what's done and that might cause a little bit of a ruckus <laughs> okay with the queen of swords and all this all right very fascinating because i can also see too there's a lot of conversations that are happening about you as well a lot okay a lot you don't know the full card you don't know what's being said or what's being done. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something very interesting about that. <sighs> Fascinating. So Aquarius. Now this is the cool thing. The really cool thing about this reading. Because sorry about that. Yeah we got crazy. You have Clematis. And if you guys know anything about Clematis. It's a a plant it's like a vine that can grow anywhere and it literally like seeks the light anything that can give it water and warmth it goes towards that it will literally just spiral its vines in any direction to go towards an opportunity and I feel like that could have come in recently is an opportunity presented it here presented itself and you went towards it because you could have felt like something about it was warm, which is fascinating with all these swords cards because that's actually quite cold or detached. But I'm getting here, there's momentum taking place and there's actually something here about a push that's happening to put you in the best position available to achieve your goal. And it's kind of talks about, you just need to remember kind of these energies as they elevated you or supported you to get to where you needed to go. It's like, don't forget who who put you on your path to success or helped you accomplish these goals that you're moving into, okay? Because these also might be other energies that are coming in as a supportive piece, you know, because you got something, you got a, you got a different view on things or you've just got to... A perception that's different. What have we got? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put the King of Wands at the top, which is kind of representative. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign. There's a big emphasis because we also have the Four of Wands. So this could be some type of coming together. It's actually kind of fascinating with the Four of Wands and... The, all these court cards that played out all the swords and there's the four right there so in the previous position we have the five of pentacles so you could have gone come out of some type of situation either financial stuff or just being in some type of situation where you felt like you didn't belong you were like this is you felt you might have had some rejection issues that were coming up in some type of situation or environment um I'm also getting Aquarius too. You might be, you might have tried, like, called something forth, forth or manifested something, and you're still kind of still feeling like you, you're like the unique one. Okay. And that's why you're in this Queen of Swords status, is because certain things that you could have done or you've had to do 
or boundaries that you've had to put on yourself or different situations, it's elevated you. And now you could be finding yourself in kind of like a five of pentacles, like typical, even though you're in an environment where you do fit in, you're still like the odd one out for some crazy reason, you know? So it's kind of cool because now we have the Six of Pentacles, which can be generosity. That's like typical equal give and take. So there could be gifts or people that are coming in to help support people giving you like a, a helping hand to get out of some type of situation. If you've been in that Five of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Okay, so there's a transitional energy right there because I'm kind of getting... There is that new thing opening up, which was talking about the Clematis, but you might still feel like there's something here that you're trying to, you might feel chained to, or you have to let go of. That's the typical two of wands. Like, or you're trying to find a way to bring this thing along <laughs> while this opportunity opens up, because this feels kind of like you either had gone toward it yeah, that's going to end. So there's the death card. It's kind of cool that that came out right after it. Because if you're feeling kind of stuck to something or chained to something in particular that you... At one time you did feel excited about it, but now you're just kind of like, yeah, time to let that go. There's a transformation that's happening. Okay, death card. This is quite exciting. Empress. Hell yeah. Okay. That's also your transformation into your higher self, okay? So, which is really actually kind of cool. Um, ah, the hanged man. Okay, shamanana. Now we're getting a different look on this. So, I get with this, I, I feel like you could be connected possibly with an empress if, if this is like a business owner or this is like your own mother. So typical. There is something here where you might be putting an end to some type of situation because you... It's interesting. I was talking all about your different view. Like your very unique way of perceiving people and situations. It could have been like, now you're applying all the knowledge that you've attained and putting it into some type of situation and trying to see like, you know how I always talk about reductionism, using that to break down people and humans <laughs> into more simpler pieces, like into complex, you know, kind of breaking them up and seeing how they tick, you know, seeing how they operate. Does that make sense? So the moon card, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that feels like your shadow. Fascinating that the fool came out twice. So there's the fool card as the very end. And over here, we have the moon, the shadow, and the judgment, which I feel like, <sighs> wow. Okay, I feel like someone could have been doing something kind of in the shadows. All right, something kind of sneaky and you were like, I see it like, but, and that's what's so tricky is like, you probably saw it. Nobody else did. And it's because of your own experiences, which put you in the queen of swords, typical. And now it, you will see like, if people don't believe you, yeah, it's because they don't have this experience, whatever you've been through. You have like a different, it's like you've dealt with some type of super crazy manipulator, <laughs> Aquarius. And so now it's like you can see when it's playing out, when you've got like a super charming energy that's coming in and, and like oozing everyone with, you know, like, uh, like, petting everyone's ego perfectly and so you're like no <laughs> no you see it exactly for what it is so the judgment card is saying if you're not being believed right now which it could be that i don't know if you're saying something queen of swords is pretty vocal about things so if you are there's the king of swords on the bottom. That's hilarious. If you are calling out a situation, there are some energies hit or, that are deliberating on what you said. Okay, like lots of people are like shifting back and forth on perceptions and it's really tripping them out. 
and it could be about you, you will see, like, whatever happened here, I do feel like this is an end, okay? You're putting an end to some type of situation, and something is releasing you right here with the Two of Wands, all right? Something's gonna finish out, and, um... If you're not believed right now, Aquarius, just time will tell. They'll figure out eventually, okay? They will. It's just their own lesson. If you've already been through that lesson, it's like, you don't really need to go through it again. You can go off on your own and do your own thing, like, which might be integrated into this new chapter that you're starting up, because it could be that you're like, okay, well, if, if things weren't going my way, or if things weren't really working with, because you have like this different view and you know how to build things in a successful way because you've seen all the unsuccessful ways that things have been built. So now it's saying you might just go off and do it yourself. Because <laughs> isn't that typical Aquarius? Like probably why some of you guys are jack of all trades. It's like you just know... Okay, if this isn't if this continues to go round and round, I'm just gonna go do it myself. I'm gonna start this up and do it myself. Empress, birth this thing here. Okay. Holy crap, Aquarius. So let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out about this. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.